description if you want to check it out yourself. Um, I think in the description, this game was inspired by their grandma. That's why it's called Nine Nine's Recipe, I think. I think. Oh. That makes a bubbly noise. Nice. I'm just trying to see if I can interact with anything. It doesn't seem like I can. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump into it. But yeah, Nine Nine's. I think that means like what they used to call their grandma, I think. It's by Fan Fang and Mai Ho. So let's just get started. I think this is gonna be very personable to me because I also really look up to my grandma's cooking. Uh, the sounds are so cute though. Okay, it looks like taking a picture of this tamarind. Tangerine tree, mandarin tree. I don't know why I said tamarind. Let's just take a snap, retake it, let's get it more centered on the tree. Okay, I think that's good to Night Night. Happy New Year, Night Night. That's so cute. Happy New Year. I used to call my grandma Anai because me and my cousins couldn't pronounce Inai, which means a mother in Filipino, even though she was our Lola, which is grandma, but we just, of course, our parents would call her Inai, because that's their mother, so we just copied what we heard, and, um, so yeah, we got Anai from it, which is funny, because in our language, Anai means a termite, so we're ca calling her a termite, but yeah, I think this game's just really cute. Happy New Year, what is that? with firm tofu. Firm tofu is okay, but so 
gosh, this is actually kind of hard. Drag. I wonder if I can just... Oh no, I ate another piece. Uh, put down. Uh, put down. Okay, let's chop. Okay. I can't see when I'm chopping. I kind of wish I could zoom in. an aromatic and flavors. 
Um, basically, I wanted to try this too because there's this game I saw in the Indie Direct and it was called Soup Pot. And it's gonna, I think it's gonna be similar to this, but it's gonna be Filipino dishes because it was made by Filipino developers. So I can't tell if it's browning because it looks more yellow than brown. Yeah. 
supposed to put more soy sauce because it's supposed to boil. So maybe it needs a lot. So like it has a sauce or a soup base. I forgot what it looked like. Maybe I should look at the picture. Oh yeah, it looks like it has a like soup in it, like a sauce. Get, get out the phone, please. Wait, what did she say? Ew, typing is hard for me. I should write them on paper next time. You're actually doing really well, night night. Okay. Wait until boil. Then we have to add the tofu and salt. Okay. I'm pretty sure I burnt something. Unless it's supposed to look like that, but it looks charred. She told me not to. boiling because that's there's like static which is I think it's supposed to represent the boiling of the water at tofu and salt heat for two minutes the controls are kind of um hard plenty of salt does not look like what grandma taught me how to make it. I don't think I made it right. But I want to look around the kitchen because I, I didn't really. That looks, what is that? For here. Oh, look, a pestle. I've never used a pestle before. Mortar and pestle, right? That's what it's called. What time is it? Oh, one more minute. Let me take a picture for it. Yeah, send a photo to me next time. See, we didn't add any spice. 
soy sauce is pretty salty and I added soy sauce. Definitely medium well. <laughs> Stir fried ground pork with silk and tofu, garlic and scallion. For two, that's not for, that's definitely not for three people. <laughs> it's very, very modest serving. Just eat. 